Football fans, well, welcome to Rab Sherman Field at Kirsch Rooney Stadium on the campus of Delgado Community College, home of the Dolphins and home of the Brother Martin Crusaders. This is the first game of the first round of the LHSAA Division I baseball playoffs between the Archbishop Shaw Eagles and the Brother Martin Crusaders. Here are tonight's starting lineups. For Archbishop Shaw, leading off number 25, center fielder Dylan Black. Batting second, number eight, the left fielder Brandon Ortiz. Batting third, number seven, right fielder Renee Brubacher. Batting fourth, number 21, catcher Wayne Templin. Batting fifth, number three, pitcher Corey Neeney. Batting sixth, number 22, designated hitter Jordan LaCava. Batting seventh, number 16, third baseman Brendan Smith. Batting eighth, number 20, first baseman Colby Skultor. Batting ninth, number five, shortstop Justin Ostricker. Playing second base, number one, Tyler Nichol. And now the starting lineup for the home team, the Brother Martin Crusader. <laughs> Leading off at shortstop number eight, Joe Bergeron. <laughs> Batting second, the left fielder, number 11, Andre Robin. Batting third, third baseman, number 22, Mason Bonifant. Batting fourth, at first base, number 12, Trey Morgan. Batting fifth, at second base, number two, Zach Repel. Batting sixth, at designated hitter, number three, Dominic Roberts. Batting seventh in right field, number seven, Brandon Brown. Batting eight, the center fielder, number 32, Cole Strombo. Batting ninth, the catcher, number five, Ben Wisniewski. And on the mound for the Crusaders, number 23, Brandon Bonilla. At this time, we ask that you rise and remove your caps for tonight's invocation, and then remain standing for the playing of our national anthem. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. God, our Father, you have created us to strive for all the best. We ask that you grant to all the athletes, coaches, umpires, and fans the strength to pursue excellence and the grace to show good sportsmanship during this event. We pray for the safety of the athletes, that you protect them from injury and harm. And finally, we pray that you would provide us with the endurance to pursue our heavenly prize, eternal life in your Son. Amen. St. John Bosco, pray for us. Amator Koyezu. Love be the heart of Jesus.
Ladies and gentlemen, at this time we ask that you point your attention to the field of Coach Joe Sherman of the Delgado Community College. Thank y'all. As y'all know, we've learned last week that Coach Wiz has decided to uh, step aside and retire as coach at Brother Martin High School. And then the tradition that my father started many years ago, whenever there's a coach who retires, we, we, we present them with a mail clock in uh, remembrance of what they've done for us here at Coach Rooney. So Coach Wiz, if you come up. Check out the time on this clock. Please remember all the great times you had here at Kirsch Thank you. Thank you, Coach. And a pleasant good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Rag Sherman Field here at Kirsch Rooney Stadium. Game two of our playoff doubleheader here for you today. And it's the first game of the series between the Archbishop Shaw Eagles and the Brother Martin Crusaders. Emmanuel Pepp is here with you, ready to join you for the rest of the way, as just heard a couple of moments ago. As we are getting set for the start of this game, Coach Mark Wisniewski was honored pregame as the Crusaders and Eagles will duel for the third time this season, having played each other twice during the regular season. Brother Martin taking both of those games and both of them in shutouts in shutout fashion 5 nothing and 11 to nothing as brother martin has taken the field the road team will be of course shaw's the lower seed so run through the eagles starting lineup it's going to be center fielder dylan black who will start it off and lead off for archbishop shaw brandon ortiz bats second and plays left field renee brubacher the right fielder bats third wayne template cleans up and he catches Batting fifth is the pitcher, Corey Nini. Jordan LaCava is the DH. He'll bat sixth. And it's Brendan Smith, the third baseman, batting seventh. Colby Sculthorpe, the first baseman, bats eighth. And Justin Ostricker, the shortstop, will bat ninth. Brother Martin defensively will read as follows. Outfield from left to right, it's going to be Andre Rovins, Cole Strombo, and Brendan Brown. Infield starting from first base, it is Trey Morgan. At second base, it's Zach Repath. The shortstop, Joel Bergeron. Mason Bonifons is at the hot corner. Putting down the sides is going to be Ben Wisniewski, and the starting pitcher for the Crusaders this evening is going to be Brandon Benura. He is done with his warm-up tosses, and we are just about set. For baseball here at Kirsch Rooney Stadium. Benura this year, 5-2 and two in nine starts. A 2-6-9 ERA. 52 innings pitch, 46 hits, 25 runs, 20 earned with 18 walks, 35 strikeouts. Dylan Black, the first batter, batting from the left side. First pitch he offers that and fouls it off. We're officially underway at 7.02 p.m. Crusaders coming in with a team ERA of 3.82 on the season as a new ball will be delivered out to the pitcher Benura. Benura leads the team in wins, leads the team in innings and in strikeouts as well. The 0-1 pitch and that's taken for a strike. So first two pitches net Benura an 0-2 advantage against the leadoff hitter Black. Pitch, and that's fouled. High off the net, third base side. Another 0-2 coming. Swing and a miss, pitch in the dirt. They collect, set, throw down the first, and the out recorded there. So a strikeout and a 2-3 to three put out. To start off the night for Benura. 
Brandon Ortiq steps in for the Eagles. Batting from the right side, a 233 hitter this year. First pitch to him, and that's down for ball one. Just saw Black, who is actually the second leading hitter on this Archbishop Shaw roster. 1-0, wave and a miss. That'll even the count. Renee Brubacher, who's on deck, leads all regulars for the Eagles in batting average at 337. The pitch, that skips the dirt. Ortiz ahead 2-1. and one. Ortiz has 21 hits. 17 of them have been singles this year. 2-1. And a high chopper to third. Picked up on the second hop. Throw down the first. And Ortiz is gone. Bonifons just had to wait that one out on the high first hop. Collected it on the second. Fires on over. So Ortiz is gone. Two relatively quick outs here for Benura and Renee Brubacher, the batter. First pitch. And Brubacher takes the ball. I mentioned he's hitting 337 this year. 31 hits and 92 at bats including five doubles, the 1-0 down in the dirt. Rubacher ahead at 2-0. Eagles in gray tops, gray pants with green numbering and lettering. Brother Martin in gold tops with white pants. 2-0, and that one's fouled by Brubacher. Puts a strike in the column for Benura. the 6-11 matchup here in the first round of the Division I LHSAA State Playoffs. 2-1, cut and a miss. Benura runs that one by Brubacher, and it evens up the count to 2-2. Two and two. Pitch, and that's down and in. Had some sink and backed up the legs of Brubacher. Fills up the count. Here in the third batter of the inning, 3-2. And that's fouled. So we'll do it again here. With Benura looking for a 1-2-3 inning to try to set the tone here for the Crusaders before they get their first cuts at the plate. Rubacher will get some extra instru instruction down at third base. The head coach of the Eagles, Kirk Bollinger. Archbishop Shaw this year, a 9 and 26 mark. Meanwhile, Brother Martin this season, 16, 13, and 1. Another 3 2. Swing and a miss. Benura gets his first strikeout of the game. Retires Brubacher in seven pitches in the at bat. A 1 2 no 3 hit, inning no for out. Brother Martin to start it off. No runs, no hits, no errors. Nobody left. Through a half, it is Archbishop Shaw nothing and Brother Martin coming to bat. You are tuned in to High School Baseball here on SportsNola.com.
Welcome back here to Rag Sherman Field here at Kirsch Rooney Stadium on the campus of Delgado Community College as the Brother Martin Crusaders will get their first hacks at the plate against starting pitcher Corey Nini. For Archbishop Shaw, the lineup reads as follows. Joel Bergeron leads it off. Andre Robins bats second. Mason Bonifons bats third. Then it's Trey Morgan who will clean up. Zach Repath bats fifth. The DH is Dominic Robert. He'll bat sixth. Brendan Brown bats seventh and it's Cole Strombo and Ben Wisniewski. All the face. Corey Nini for the Eagles. Is this season Nini in nine games, two and six record? ERA of 366 in 44 innings pitched. He has struck out 41 Badgers this year, has allowed 21 walks. And has given up 23 earned runs this season, 38 total. Berger on the leadoff hitter for the Crusaders. 382 hitter this year, 39 hits and 102 at bats. Leadoff hitter also leads the team in runs scored, 27, has driven in 10. First pitch of the evening from Nini, and that one is taken for a ball. 1 0. The Eagles had lost their last four games coming into the postseason. 1-0. Swing and a miss. Evens the count. Add a ball in the strike if you're just joining us. If you missed the first game of today's doubleheader. Archbishop Rummel. Got ahead big early. An 8-run first and an 11-run third. Won 19-2 in a run rule. 1-1 one, one away. Two balls and a strike. Two one, and a ground ball to third, and that one is snagged in fair territory. It's a long throw, and that's got no chance. Bergeron was well safe. The third baseman Smith fielded it in a run across the line, but it was an impossible throw. Infield base hit for Bergeron. That'll bring up Andre Robins. So the leadoff man on here for the Crusaders, ahead of Rovins, a 210 hitter this year and 81 at bats. Smith will play in on the grass at third, throw back to first to check Berger on there. Pitch. And it's taken for a ball. This will be the first of the best of three series. We'll have game number two tomorrow here at 3 o'clock. Game three, if necessary, will be at 6. 1-0. Runner goes, and it's fouled. Evens the count. One pitch, and the runner goes again, and again it's fouled by Rovins. So the Crusaders trying to create some early action on the base paths with their leadoff man Bergeron, starting him up in each of the last two pitches that Rovins has hacked off foul to move the count to one and two in Nini's favor. Nini takes a step off. 
Now Rito's high set, stretch pitch, swung on and missed. Rovins goes down on strikes. First out of the inning, recorded by Nini on the mound with a punch out. Now it'll bring up Mason Bonifons. Bonifons co-leads the team in doubles with nine. He's hitting 280 this year. Has one homer, 21 driven in, in 100 at-bats. He also has two triples this year. First pitch, Bergeron goes, and that's line. Shortstop can't come up with it. And Bergeron's going to go first to third on this one as the throw comes in the second. Mason Bonifons rips it past the shortstop, Ostricker. And it's first and third with one out for the Crusaders. Bonifons attacking the first pitch. First baseman, number and the second hit Trey of the first Morgan. inning for the Crusaders. And that'll bring it to the cleanup hitter, Trey Morgan. Morgan, a 368 hitter this year. Also nine doubles, 19 driven in. Comes up in a golden early RBI opportunity. The runner on third, less than two outs, and you got the trail runner, Bonifaz at first. First pitch, and that one is hit in the air into very shallow right center field. Catch is made, and they're going to try to. Now the throw is going to come in. Bergeron thought about tagging, but that throw was on a rope right to the catcher template from Ostricker. That'll bring up Zach Repath. Repath hitting 256 in 90 at bats this year. Try to cash in something from the two base runners collected. First pitch misses from Nini for ball one. A 1-0. And a check swing, a called strike. Repath held, but didn't matter. Count evens. So a fairly stressful first inning for Nini so far. Having to navigate around the four and now the five hitter. Ground ball, left side. Picked up, and oh, it's bobbled. Everybody's safe, run scores, and it is 1-0, Brother Martin. Shortstop, Ostricker could not field it cleanly, and he will be charged with an error. No RBI, Bergeron scores. Bonifons moves to second, and that'll set up Dominic Robert. Two sixty-seven hitter and 45 at-bats this season for Brother Martin. First pitch, and that's taken for a strike. So the hit and run executed. A two out error. Beneficiary to the Crusaders. The 0 1. And that one a ground ball towards short. Picked up by Ostricker. He'll set and throw down the first, and they'll get Robert by plenty for the third out in the side is retired. But not before the Crusaders strike the board for a run on two hits, one error, and two runners left. We've played an inning, and it is Brother Martin 1, Archbishop Shaw nothing. You're tuned in to High School Baseball on SportsNola.com.
Back here at Rag Sherman Field at Kirsch Rooney Stadium on the campus of Delgado Community College. We're in at a second. Both pitchers threw 15 pitches in that first inning. But for starter Brandon Benura, it was a much lower stress first inning with no base runners to deal with. As Wayne Template will start off the second here for the Eagles. First pitch, and Template takes the ball. 1 0. And the 1 0 pitch is taken downstairs. Two balls, no strikes here to Template. The 2 0. And that's taken for a strike, 2 and 1. We haven't seen it affect them yet, but. Benura in the early part of the counts has put himself behind. Did it against Ortiz, Brubacher, and now here to Template. The 2-1 misses, and it's now 3-1. and one. Something to monitor and how the Eagles maybe adjust their hitting approach. 3-1 taken for a called strike, full count. Two. And now with a ground ball up the middle, that'll be through in the center for a base hit for Template. First hit and base runner of the evening for Shaw. And that'll bring it to Corey Nini. Meanwhile, we have a courtesy runner. Running at first base. <coughs> For the Eagles. As a throwback to first, checks him. It's Jason Welliman. First pitch to Nini, and that's sawed off foul. Nothing in one. Nini, a 217 hitter this year. 20 hits, 92 at bats. He has driven in 13 with two doubles. Pitch well high for ball one. Wisniewski had to pop up out of his. Crouch stance. And another throw back, a quick move, and Whaleman back in. And another throw back, and they got him picked. This time, the quick move by Benura works. Willman has picked off. 1-3 on your put up. As the pitch is taken now and a strike. So the tide of this inning quickly turning in the Crusaders' favor. Get a pick off on the base pass to race the leadoff base hit. Now Benura has jumped ahead in the count. 1-2 and two, the pitch. In the dirt. Two balls, two strikes. Two, two coming. And a called strike three. Nini rung up on the outer half. And with two out, base is empty. Jordan LaCava, the DH, will bat. LaCava, 14 for 64. He hacks at the first pitch and fouls it off. Nothing in one. LaCava has three RBI this year. He'll one. 
And a ground ball towards short. And that's bobbled and no play. LaCava is safe. Moving over to his left was Bergeron, but he fumbled with it, allowing LaCava to reach on the E6. Third baseman, Brendan Smith. So the second error of the game, one on each side. That'll bring up Brendan Smith. 186 hitter this year in 97 at bats. First pitch, a called strike. And Benura jumps ahead 0 1. No one pitch, and that's taken up. Evens the count. Two errors, both of them on the shortstops in this game. With Ostricker and now Bergeron as the 1 1, a called strike, 1 and 2. Two pitch and a high chopper picked up at third and a hop to go the short way to second. Route number three in the side is retired on the 5 4 fielder's choice. In the frame, no runs, a hit, an error, and one left. Bottom second coming up, and it's the Crusaders of Brother Martin one, the Archbishop Shaw Eagles nothing. You are tuned in to high school baseball on sportsnola.com. Back here at Rag Sherman Field at Kirsch Rooney Stadium in the bottom of the second. Brother Martin out to an early 1-0 lead. A two-out error allowing a run to score as Joel Bergeron crossed the plate. And now it'll be 7-8-9 and nine due up in the Crusaders' order. So Brendan Brown is going to lead it off here. Brown a 271 hitter. 23 hits, 85 at-bats this year. He leads the team in home runs. He's got three. 25 driven in. First pitch fouled back. Nothing in one. Nini's 0 1 delivery. And that one is in the air. In towards right center field, and it's going to wind up being the right fielder, Brubacher, to put this one away for the first out. Two pitches netted out for Nini and the Eagles. And Cole Strombo. Will now bat. 203 hitter, 12 for 59. Six runs batted in this year, batting from the left side. Playing him in at third as the first pitch is fouled. So that'll back off Smith, who was well in on the grass. Now he's towards the cut of it. A one pitch. And that one is fouled off. Oh and two. And 
And time called just as Nini, or just before Nini started his windup. Eagles have had some tough luck losses this year. 9 and 26 record. That one is in the left field. And running over and making the catch was Ortique for the second out. I'll bring up Ben Wisniewski. We mentioned the Eagles are on a four game slide coming into the playoffs. The first game of that, though, was an extra inning loss to Holy Cross. Holy Cross, one of the three teams that earned buys in the first round as the three seed. First pitch is taken well down for ball one to Wisniewski. Wisniewski, a 262 hitter this season, 11 runs batted in. one -oh pitch. And that's taking a strike call, it evens the count. One one pitch, and that's fouled. Back to the backstop, one and two. Nini searching for a one, two, three inning. Pitch, swing and a miss. Nini took something off, got Wisniewski to swing and miss, and the side is retired. Second strikeout for a Corey Nini. No runs, no hits, no errors, nobody left as we head to the third. Brother Martin leading it one to nothing. You're tuned into high school baseball on sportsnola.com. Back here at Rags Sherman Field at Kirsch Rooney Stadium. We're in at a third. Archbishop Shaw trailing one to nothing. Eight, nine, one hitters due up, so Colby Sculthorpe is going to lead this inning off. First pitch. Sculthorpe takes a strike, nothing and one. Pitch, and that's down. Skimming the dirt. Ball in the strike. Skullthorpe this year, 182 hitter. With one home run, three runs batted in. 1-1 one, one pitch. And that one is grounded up the middle. That's off the glove. And now the third baseman trying to back this up. Throws high, but Skullthorpe probably was on the bag anyway. Trying to kind of backhand stop it with his glove was Benura. But it deflected off of him. Jetted right over to third base. Bonifons tried to back up the play on the ricochet. Throw was high, but it did not matter. Skullthorpe aboard with a base hit. Now it'll bring up Justin Ostricker. Here's the first pitch. Ostricker lays down the bunt. 
This will get the job done. Only play at first base. They make it there. 1-3 on the sacrifice. And Ostricker does the job. Moves the runner into scoring position with one out. And gives a chance to the top of the order to try to get him in. Dylan Black will be next. Black struck out on a pitch in the dirt and was retired 2-3. to three. First pitch here, and he lines one up the middle. That's going to bounce on through a base hit. And they're going to hold the stop sign as the throw comes offline. Now Black's going to try to take second, but he will get back to first as there's nobody covering first base. He thought about going to second on the throw, started to. Wisniewski fired it to second, but there was nobody on first, so Black was able to get back. Runners on the corners now for the Eagles. Sculthorpe to third. Brandon Ortique the batter. He just need a fly ball deep enough. As a throwback to first and a pickoff move. And once again, we're seeing that quick move over from Benura. Got a pickoff. An inning ago, first pitch to Ortica called strike. Nothing in one. Time called and Ortic will be summoned over. A leadoff single to start this inning off on a deflection. A sack bunt laid down by Ostricker. A base hit back up the middle by Black. A throw back, and Black is back in. And that's setting up the Eagles' two-hole hitter. And another throw back, and once again, Black in. And another throw back, and Black dives back in. He tried to extend his lead out a little bit. Benura checks him. And another throw back once again, and it's a cat and mouse game going on. That's four throws over from Benura. And he's just gotten a little bit closer each time. And another throw back, this time no tag applied as Black dives back in. Now the pitch, an Ortiz flash bunt, a strike called as he pulled back, nothing in two. And another throw back, and Black just back in. Ooh. That's six checks of him since Black has reached. That one close. Now the 0-2 is high for ball one. Crusaders trying to pick off and out on a base pass and force Ortiz to get a hit to drive in a run. The one, two, and that's fouled away. Renee Brubacher on deck for Shaw. Looking to tie this game, still in the earlier stages in the top of the third. One nothing, Brother Martin. The one, two again, and again fouled away. Pitch number six of this at back coming up. And another throw back, Black, once again in. Here comes a third straight one-two pitch, and it's taken for ball two. Tried to bite one off at the outside corner. 
Did Benura. And a good take by Ortique. 2-2 pitch. And a high chopper up the middle, and they get to the bag at one turn for the first double play. A 6-3 double play, and that's the fortune, really, of Bergeron fielding it right on top of the bag on the high hop. They were able to turn two from there. In the inning, no runs, two hits, no errors, and one runner left. A huge double play turn by Brother Martin. We turn it over to the bottom of the third with the Crusaders leading one to nothing. You are tuned in to High School Baseball on SportsNola.com. Back here at Rag Sherman Field at Kirsch Rooney Stadium into the bottom of the third and the, the Crusader defense the stepping up with a 6-3 double stop. play Joel. on a ground ball up the middle. Bergeron. Now Crusaders will bat with Joel Bergeron who is responsible so far for the only run in this game. First pitch from Nini and that's fouled. Nothing in one. The sharp second inning for Nini on the mound. Retired the Crusaders in order. Looked like the Eagles had a chance to at least tie the game. But it was quickly snuffed out by the Brother Martin defense. 0-1 a called strike. Bergeron down now in the count, 0-2. No 0-2 pitch. And a ground ball towards second. That is scooped up and the throw to first will get Bergeron. Left fielder number 11. Tro uh, Tyler Tyler Nickel, Rogan. the second baseman who is not in the batting order with the assist there. On the 4-3 ground out, Andre Rovin's now the batter. He struck out swinging. His first time up, one of two strikeouts recorded by Nini so far tonight. First pitch. And a breaking ball called strike. Nothing in one. Oh, one pitch. And that's taking another called strike. So Rovins has waited out a couple. It's now put him in a hole. 0-2 pitch. And that one fouled. Just kind of a really defensive swing by Rovins. Playing spoiler. Mason Bonifons on deck for Brother Martin, the head of this 0-2 pitch, which is outside. Catcher template set up in the opposite batter's box. Rovins happily takes, puts a ball in the column. One, two. And that one is lined, and that's going to drop in front of the shortstop. Throw over to first, and that will get Rovins. A line drive that sunk right in front of the shortstop, Ostricker. He played it on the hop. Just got the throw in in time. Third baseman, number 22, 
Two down. And that'll bring up Mason Bonifong. It was with Bonifons that the Crusaders executed that hit and run in the first inning. That put first and third with one out. Brother Martin eventually able to score a run on a two-out error. First pitch, and that's taken for a strike. But since then, Corey Nini's been sharp. He has retired six straight, three ground ball outs, and a strikeout in that stretch. 0-1. And that's taking another strike. Nothing in two. And he's gotten ahead in the count, and he's gotten quick outs as well. Go two. And that's taken for ball one. In his stretch of six straight batters retired, no Crusader has taken him deeper than five pitches in a count. The one, two, and that's tap foul. So we'll do it again here. With two outs, bases empty, home half of the third, Brother Martin leading one nothing. One, two pitch, and that's taken for ball two. Bonifons got in an early hole. Some good pitching, some good spot hitting by Nini. And it's managed to hang in there with a 2 2 pitch, a called strike three. Rung up is Bonifons. Side is retired. In order, no runs, no hits, no errors. Nobody left as we head to the fourth. It is Brother Martin 1. Archbishop Shaw, nothing. You are tuned in to High School Baseball on SportsNola.com. Back here at Rag Sherman Field, Kirsch Rooney Stadium, in and a fourth. And a pitcher's duel developing right now. Brother Martin leading Archbishop Shaw, one and nothing. Harder the order, do up for the Eagles. Renee Brubacher will start it off. First pitch. And Brubacher grounds one to third. That's fair. That bounces in the left. It'll be Brubacher taking a turn and heading back. First pitch, he jumps on. Bounces one up the third base line, past the third baseman Bonifons. Fourth Temple. hit of the evening for the Eagles. Wayne Template, the batter. First pitch, and Template takes a ball. We've seen bon uh, Benura start to settle in on the strike zone early in the count. Notice that he was missing with first and second pitches, putting him behind early. It didn't really affect him as the 1 0 called strike, and they thought about a back pick, but did not. He evens the count to Template, who has one of those four hits. He was courtesy or run four by Jason Wallman, who was picked off in the second. One one. 
And that one is lined in the center, and that's going to be caught. And now they're going to try to throw back to first, but the first baseman wasn't on the bag. Brubacher is able to get back in. A line drive to center, but Strombo puts it away. Pitcher, Corey Dean. And that'll bring up the pitcher, Corey Nini. Nini struck out looking. One of three punch outs for Benura on the mound this evening. And a throw back to first. Checks Brubacher. The Eagles do have a couple of guys that can create some havoc on the base paths in certain opportunities. First pitch, a wave and a miss. Off speed from Benura, jumps ahead, nothing in one. Brubacher this year has six steals and seven tries. Team leader in steals, that's Dylan Black and Brandon Ortiz. They share it with eight steals each. 0-1. Oh and that's taken. Now they take off for second. Brubacher, there's a slide, a tag, and Brubacher safe on the stolen base. Throw just to the other side of the bag. Created a longer reach for the second baseman, Repath. And Brubacher able to slide by and not overslide the bag. His seventh swipe this year takes the double play out of order. 1-1 one, one pitch to Nini, cut on and missed. <laughs> one, two, and it bounced in. Count evens, two balls, two strikes. With Jordan LaCava waiting on deck. LaCava reached on the lone Crusader error. 2-2. Two -two. Swing and a foul tip, strike three. Nini got a little piece of it as it got into the glove of Wisniewski. And a punch out for Benura. Number four on the night. Jordan LaCava, the batter, with two outs now. Still runner on second. First pitch, and LaCava takes for ball one. one 0 -oh coming home. And there's a called strike. One one pitch. Stays high. LaCava moves back ahead in the count. Winner of this series, whomever it is, will take on the three seed Holy Cross. First two rounds are best of three series. Two one, and that one is in the air. Foul, that'll get out. Evening up the count at two and two. Two pitch, upstairs, full count. There are other first round games going on currently. St. Paul's in Scotlandville, which started at six o'clock. Same with Jesuit and St. Aug and Bird and Evangel. There are other first round series. Three, two. And now on a line drive right to the shortstop, Bergeron, and that's out number three in the side is retired. Hit with good pace, but finds a glove. And the Crusaders get around the leadoff base hit. No runs, a hit, no errors. One left. Home half of the fourth coming up. Brother Martin still holding on to their one to nothing lead. You are tuned in to High School Baseball on SportsNola.com.
Back here at Rag Sherman Field at Kirsch Rooney Stadium. It's a pitcher's duel going on between Brother Martin and Archbishop Shaw. The Crusaders lead it one to nothing. Bottom of the order. Or excuse me, four, five, six due up in the Brother Martin order. Trey Morgan to lead it off. First pitch from Corey Nini is taken for ball one. Nini using just 23 pitches in the last two innings, retiring all six batters in that stretch. He's on a stretch of seven straight retired. Entering this frame, 1-0, and that's taken for ball two. Morgan attacked the first pitch and flied out into right. Back in the first inning. The 2-0. Ball three. First three ball count that Nini has faced tonight. He's only faced one other two ball count, and that was to the leadoff hitter Bergeron back in the first. 3-0. And that's taken for ball four. Four pitch walk. So that creates a leadoff base runner, and that'll draw a mound visit. Number two. Ahead of Zach Repath. The rest of the infield will congregate. Repath reached on the error that cost the run. It's so far the difference in this ball game. Conference breaks. This is where Shaw has struggled at times this year to produce runs, putting extra pressure on your pitchers and fielders to basically be next to perfect. The Eagles have been shut out six times this year, six times this year, twice against the team they're facing tonight and tomorrow as well in this best of three series. First pitch to Repath is taken for ball one. Here's the one oh, and there's a strike. One pitch, pitch out. Now they'll throw down the second, and the throw cannot be handled as Morgan is in with a stolen base. They pitch out, so it's ball two. Morgan swipes second. Now with no outs, a runner in scoring position. The 2 1. And that one is in the air in the shallow center. Coming in on it is Black. Will make the catch for out number one. Needed an unproductive out to kind of slow things down a little bit after a busy start to this inning with a four pitch walk and a stolen base Dominic Robert the batter coming into this inning just to enhance the numbers on how Corey Nini's control has been tonight 30 of his 38 pitches entering this frame have gone for strikes first pitch to Robert is taken for a strike nothing in one Robert grounded out to short to end the first inning. As 
Brother Martin student section and fans trying to start the wave here in front of us. Oh one, and a check swing, but a called strike anyway. Robert behind in the count, 0-2. Oh the 0-2 pitch, and that one is outside, ball one. Brendan Brown is on deck for Brother Martin. Nini readies for the one two. And it's taken for ball two. Tailed away, but Robert would not go after it. Count evens. Nini gets the sign, checks the runner Morgan, the pitch. And that one is slapped down the line, that's fair. A run is gonna score on this one. This will roll for a while, and Robert can run for a while. He gets the second, he's gonna gear down there. It's a stand-up double, and it is two nothing. Brother Martin. Robert slaps it down the line, it stays fair. And he replaces Morgan at second, who comes around the score easily. And the Crusaders right, tack on a run to their lead. Ahead of Brendan Brown. Brown flied out his first time up that led off the second. First pitch. And Brown chops one to third, handling on a hop. They'll look the runner back to second. Throw across the first. It can't be picked. It was low. And it goes in the shallow right field. That's going to be an error, allowing Brown to reach and Robert to move to third. They look the runner back with Brendan Smith, the third baseman, fielding on a hop. But a low throw in the dirt could not be picked on the hop. That's going to be an E5. And that'll bring up Cole Strombo. Now it's first and third with one out and the situation all of a sudden becoming much more dire. Instead of what would have been two outs runner on second, one out runners on first and third, and the bottom of the Crusader order trying to pile on to this lead. First pitch to Strombo is taken for a ball and now a late decision to take off with nobody covering second and an easy steal for Brown. So it's second and third. Brown saw that there was nobody near the bag. He took advantage and took off late and the catcher template saw it, but he had nobody to throw to. Now the infield in for the Eagles. Time called. Strombo steps out. And now it looks like they have called for the intentional walk. And that'll bring up the nine hole hitter, Ben Wisniewski with the bases loaded. Number five, Ben Wisniewski. Creates a force at any base. Wisniewski who struck out swinging his first time up as Corey Nini trying to do a measure of damage control here after a run has already come in. First pitch, and it's taken for a strike. It's nothing in one. Oh, 
A one pitch. Wisniewski shows bunt and he fouls it, pushes it foul. Nothing to. Trying to squeeze another run in with the nine hole hitter. Joel Bergeron waiting on deck. Eagles would certainly love a ground ball with a chance to turn two. Just like Brother Martin did a little earlier in this game against Shaw. The 0-2 pitch. And that's high. Came back a little bit over the plate. Ball one. One-two pitch, and a swing and a miss. Wisniewski goes down on strikes for the second time tonight. Heaney will certainly take that. Shortstop, but now, number eight, Brother Martin Bergeron. leadoff hitter Joel Bergeron steps in and a chance to open some distance on this lead. Bergeron one for two tonight. He has singled and grounded out to second. First pitch, and Bergeron pops one up. Foul territory, first baseman Camp. He'll make the catch, that is Sculthorpe for out number three, and the side is retired. And a big, big bounce back for Corey Nini and the Eagles in the frame. It was one run across on one hit. There was an error, and there were three runners left as we headed to fifth. Brother Martin's lead is now two to nothing. You are tuned in to high school baseball on sportsnola.com. here at Rag Sherman Field, the Kirsch Rooney Stadium, top of the fifth. Brother Martin leading now two to nothing. Shaw will send up their seven, eight, and nine hitters. Brendan Smith will lead it off. First pitch, and it's taken for a strike, nothing in one. They have, at times, have the Eagle hitters extended Benur. He's averaging 15 pitches an inning. He's thrown 60, 0-1 wave and a miss. Nothing in two. He scattered a few longer at bats in there, but for the most part, one big defensive play, the double play back in the third, but Benur has been in control. He has scattered four hits throughout the first four innings. But the Eagles have lacked the big hit so far. 0-2, ground ball to second. Picked up clean on a couple of hops. Throw to first for the out. First baseman, Colby Sculthorpe. That'll bring up Colby Sculthorpe, who singled and got to third back in that third inning, but was stranded there. First pitch to him. Skullthorpe takes a ball in the dirt. 1-0. A reminder, we will have the rest of this series for you. Game two tomorrow at 3 o'clock. Game three, if necessary, at 6. 1-0 is taken for ball two. So Skullthorpe in a good position here early in the count. 2-0 pitch. 
And that's down for ball three. Real pitch. Ball four. A four pitch walk. Put Skull Thorpe aboard with one away. That'll bring it to Justin Ostricker. Shortstop, Justin Ostricker. Ostricker laid down a solid sacrifice bunt back in the third inning that moved Skull Thorpe up the station. So no official at bats yet tonight in his second trip to the plate here. First pitch. Whoa, that goes way behind. A wild pitch, and Skullthorpe to second. That one went flying behind Ostricker. Up around the neck region. 1-0 with a runner on second now. Pitch. And it's taken for ball two. So Benura trying to lock back in on the strike zone. With a two-run lead to protect here in the fifth. Pitch. And there's a strike. Two one, swing and a miss. Wound up being a challenge pitch, and Ostricker couldn't catch up. He evens the count now. Two balls, two strikes. Two two coming, and that one is fouled away. So Ostricker continuing to hang in there against Benura. A one out walk, a wild pitch. Has put a runner on second for the Eagles. Another 2 2. And that one is lined past the shortstop in the center. That's going to be a base hit, but the center fielder was backing it up Strombo shallow, so. The runner, Sculthorpe, could not advance. He froze to make sure it was going to go through the infield and he wouldn't get doubled off. And Strombo reacted to it off the bat, charged it, backed it up shallow, and, make, and made sure that Sculthorpe wasn't going to take third. Mound visit happening now with Dylan Black, the batter. Just the fourth hit for Ostricker this season, but it's a pretty sizable one. It puts the tying run aboard for the Eagles with the top of the order. And the leadoff hitter, Black, set the bat. Center fielder, Dylan Black. Black has one of the five Eagles hits, a single in the third inning. First pitch, and Black flares one, and that's gonna be taken. A couple of steps into the outfield, grasped by the shortstop Bergeron. So a little flare out from Black. Left fielder, Brandon Ortiz. And that'll bring up Brandon Ortiz who was in a spot with multiple runners aboard and grounded into an inning-ending double play. First pitch here, bounces away, ball one. Eagles have been able to create some traffic on the base paths, but they haven't been able to pick up the clutch hit yet as Ortique fouls one off. One and one. Thank you. 
comes the pitch. And Ortiz flies one up in the shallow center. That's going to fall in. They're going to wave the runner home. Here comes the throw. It's offline. A run's going to score, and it is two to one. The throw in from the center fielder, Strombo, took Wisniewski up the first baseline. Sculthorpe comes around from second, and it is two to one. So Ortiz delivers, and the Eagles at least get the run back that they gave up in inning earlier. Renee Brubacher up next. Brubacher one for two with a single. First and second, again, same situation, two outs time called. First pitch. Rubacher takes a ball in the dirt. Keeping that in front of him was Wisniewski. One-0 pitch. And that's taken for ball two. So Brubacher into an advantage count from his perspective. 2-0. And that one a ground ball, and that's going to be scooped up at third. They'll throw it to second for the out there. Side is retired. But Shaw does get a run back on a two-out RBI base hit by Brandon Ortiz before the 5-4 fielder's choice into the frame. One run across. And it came across on two hits, no errors, and a runner left. Home half of the fifth coming up, and it's Brother Martin 2, Archbishop Shaw 1. You are tuned in to High School Baseball on SportsNola.com. Back here at Rex Sherman Field at Kirsch Rooney Stadium. Bottom of the fifth, Shaw has put a run up on the column. Cuts the Brother Martin lead in half at two to one. Two, three, four hitters do up to face Corey Nini. Andre Rovins will start it off. Leading off the Brother Martin, left fielder, number 11, Andre Rovins. Rovins tonight is 0 for 2. He has struck out and grounded out. First pitch here. And they flash, but take a strike, does Rovins. Nothing in one. Pitch, swing and a miss. Nini has gotten a few chases on his off speed tonight. The 0-2, it's away. One, two coming. And that's back inside and down in the dirt. The catcher template was setting up away. Two balls, two strikes. Yeah. 
2-2. Swing and a miss. Rovins goes down on strikes. A punch out for Nini. It's number five for him on the evening. That'll bring up Mason Bonifons. First pitch, bounced in. One ball, no strikes. One zero, and that's taken for ball two. Two zero pitch, and that one is in the right field, and chasing it over, making the catch for the second out was Brubacher. Bonifons hit it pretty well, but Brubacher jumped right on it. And that'll bring up Trey Morgan. Bonifons got a 2-0 pitch to his liking. You don't fault anything there. As Trey Morgan steps in, a four-pitch walk, and he came around the score. First pitch, ground ball to first, taken on two hops. It'll be a take to the bag by Skullthorpe for out number three. And the side is retired in order. No runs, no hits, no errors, and nobody left. We headed a sixth, and it is Brother Martin two, Shaw one. You're tuned into high school baseball on sportsnola.com. All finals, Archbishop Rubble 19, McKinley two, and Jesuit five. Back here at Greg Sherman Field at Curtis Rooney Stadium on the campus of Delgado Community College. Four, five, six hitters due up for the Eagles in search of the tying run as Wayne Template will start off this inning. First pitch coming, and that drops in for a strike. Nothing and one to Template, who has singled and has lined out to center this evening. Well, one pitch. And that one has hit the other way in the right field, tailing down the line, and that's going to drop in fair. Templin around first. He's going to chug in for second, and he will get there on a slide with a leadoff double. So just like that, the Eagles have something cooking as they search for the tie. For the moment, Corey Nini, the batter. And we will have a courtesy runner First out there for Shaw. Base, 17, it is Dustin Perkle who will run. With Nini, the batter. And the Eagles will try to bunt him over. First pitch is taken for ball one. 
We'll try to bunt Perkle over, get him to third with less than two outs and hope that either LaCava or Smith can deliver something to tie the game. one -0. And looked in, a strike. Evens the count. You break a game down into the little things. This is one of those moments right here. 1-1. One -one. And Nini lays a bunt down. It's collected quickly. They'll tag him, and there's no advance. The first baseman, Morgan, crashed all the way in, fielded it quickly. There was no chance for Perkle to advance from second to third. So the Jordan bunt attempt LaCava. fails. And Jordan LaCava, the batter. LaCava hit one right to the shortstop Bergeron his last time up. He's 0 for 2 tonight, reached on an error. First pitch, swing and a miss. The 0-1. And that one is lined in the right field. That's going to get down for a hit. Here comes Perkle. He's going to be waved in. He'll score as this rolls all the way into the corner. LaCava to second, he'll hold up there, and we're tied at two. Jordan LaCava rips one that bounces all the way down into the right field corner. Perkle easily scores from second. Time called in. There will be a pitching change for Brother Martin. So Brandon Benura's night is done. Five and a third innings. He leaves right now responsible for what is the go-ahead run at this point. Which is stationed at second. We'll tell you about the new pitcher on the other side of this timeout. It's a brand new ball game tied at two here in the sixth. You tune in to High School Baseball on SportsNola.com. Here at Rex Sherman Field, the new pitcher for Brother Martin is Lance Malter making his seventh appearance. Six appearances out of the pen. He's 1-1, one one, a 6-1 ADRA. 11 and a third inning, 17 hits, 14 runs, 10 earned, 9 walks, 6 strikeouts. The batter, the first batter he'll face is Brendan Smith. One out for the Eagles, runner on second. First pitch, and that one is grounded past Malter, but backed up by the second baseman. They'll get the out at first. LaCava advances to second. One pitch, First one out. Baseman, Colby and Colby Skullthorpe is up. Skullthorpe has almost quietly had a good night down in the eight hole. 
A base hit and a walk. And he scored the first eagle run an inning earlier. High chopper, and that's fielded at third. He'll set, throw down the first, and it is out number three. And the side is retired. So Lance Malter comes in, takes just two pitches to get the last two outs of the inning, and Strand what is the go-ahead runner at third. In the inning, one run, two hits, no errors, one left bottom, six coming up, and tied at two. Tune in to High School Baseball on SportsNola.com. Here at Rags Sherman Field, the Kirsch Rooney Stadium. Shaw has picked off single runs in the fifth and sixth to tie it up, and now Brother Martin looking to wrestle the lead back with Zach Repath. He started off Martin, here against Corey Nini. We'll give you the final line in just a moment on Brandon Benura. First pitch coming here. And now in a high chopper towards second. Field it clean, throw down the first. We'll get Repath. One pitch, one out is Nickel. Designated Gets the assist. Dominic Robert. That'll bring up Dominic Robert. Robert delivered an RBI double. His last time up. It gave the Crusaders their second run of the game back in the fourth inning. First pitch here, he fouls it. The 0-1. And now with a ground ball, the third, scooped up on a hop, set throw down the first, gets Robert. So in three pitches, Corey Nini has gotten two ground ball outs. Right fielder, number seven, Brendan, Brendan Brown now the batter. First pitch, and that one is hit in the air in the left. Now having to come on, come in on it with the wind pushing in, making the catch is Ortique for out number three, and the side is retired in just four pitches. A one, two, three inning. No runs, no hits, no errors. Nobody left. To the seventh we go. We're tied at two. You're tuned into high school baseball on SportsNola.com.
Back here at Reg Sherman Field at Kirsch Rooney Stadium, Justin Ostricker will lead off here for the Eagles. In a tie game at 2-2, Shaw is out hitting Brother Martin right now, 8-3. And they've been able to turn those hits into runs the last two innings. It's the first pitch from Malter. Ostricker will try to bunt his way aboard, but he fouls it. And he falls behind 0-1 in the count. Final line on Brandon Benura. Five and a third. Eight hits, two runs, both earned. He walked one, struck out four. Threw 87 pitches. 59 of them for strikes. The 0 1. And that drops in for a strike from Malter. Came in and got the last two outs on the first pitch of each at bat against Smith and Skullthorpe. Yo, two. Ball one. And if the Eagles are going to have a chance to push past this series, they're going to need some of the at-bats they've had tonight from the back half of the order as the one-two is fouled off. LaCava coming through with the tying double. Colby Skullthorpe has reached twice. We've seen Ostricker lay down a sack bunt and single tonight. One, two, and it hit him. Ostricker gets plunked. And he's aboard to lead off the seventh. Center fielder, Dylan Black. That'll bring up Dylan Black. And we'll see if they try to bunt here with Black. Black does have two sacrifice bunts this year. Crusaders are ready if Black lays one down. First pitch, there it is, but he pops it up and it's gonna be caught. Just not executed well that time. On a bunt try, Black pops it up to the third baseman Bonifons. That'll bring up Brandon Ortiz. First pitch, Ortique fouls it. Ortique is actually second on the team in sack bunts, but not in that situation anymore. He's has four this year. Ortique tonight, one for three with an RBI base hit back in the fifth. 0-1, and there's a strike. Jumps Malter ahead, 0-2. The 0-2 pitch. That missed. One ball, two strikes here. To Ortique. The offering from Malter. Foul tip, and it could not be held on to. We're still at one and two. Do have a couple of finals from other first round games that have completed.
Another one, two. And a ground ball. The Ward's third. Picked up. They'll go to second for one. Try to go around the horn. Double play. Five, four, three. The Crusaders turn it around the horn. And they get out of the inning just like that in a second. Twin killing tonight. In the inning. No runs, no hits, no errors. And uh, nobody left. Bottom seven coming up. We're tied at two. You are tuned into high school baseball on sportsnola.com. Back here at Rag Sherman Field at Kirsch Rooney Stadium. The last chance for the Crusaders to win it before extra innings. Eight, nine, one hitters do up. And we will have a pinch hitter here for the Crusaders. In the spot of Cole Strombo, it is Brennan Stuprich. Stuprich this year. Nine for 33 at the plate. Seven runs batted in. Corey Nini back out there to start the seventh. The first pitch is taken for a ball. Nini's pitch count entering the inning is 71. He's had some very efficient innings, three of them under 10 pitches. The second, fifth, and of course that four pitch sixth. 1-0, swing and a miss. Evens the count. Nini has had four routine innings. 1-1, one, one, ground ball up the line, and that is foul. Oof. Called foul by the third base umpire. Trying to hug the line. It was called foul and Nini just escapes giving up an extra base hit to lead off the inning for the moment. One and two your count. Pitch. That's down. Evens the count. Two, two, coming home. Ball three, well outside, full count. Nini has walked two tonight, one intentionally. Both of those free passes came back in the fourth inning. But he's to the max here in the count against Stuprich. What a thrilling opening to this series as the 3-2 is taken for ball four. A leadoff walk. And we'll have a courtesy runner for the Crusaders. Cole Strombo re-enters. Now to run for Stuprich. Does the job, works himself aboard. Number five, Ben Wisniewski. And Ben Wisniewski. He's had a tough night tonight at the plate. 0 for 2. He has struck out both times. 
He's been put away in four pitches each time. By Nini. First pitch, Wisniewski bunts it and lays it down. That'll get the job and they'll get the out at first with the second baseman covering. Nickel, a 1-4 sacrifice. Well done by Wisniewski. And now the Crusaders turn it back to the top. Looking to walk it off. Joel Bergeron, the batter. Time called and there will be a mound visit. As the situation heightens. Bergeron singled. Came around the score in the first inning. He's come up empty on two trips since. A ground out and a pop out. Been job well done by Corey Nini so far, but now we are going to have a call to the pen, it looks like. Correction, we won't. There's a pitcher warming up down there, though. I think that was just an ask to see where, if he was ready. So Nini will face Bergeron here. The winning run at second. First pitch, and it's taken a strike called. Nothing in one. Pitch. Taking a called strike. Nini ahead 0 and 2. O2 pitch. Missed. Andre Rovens on deck. For Brother Martin. One, two. And that one is in the center field, but coming in and having a line on it is Black. He makes the catch. Or the second out. Black didn't have to move much. And we do have a pinch hitter in the spot pinch of Robins. Number 15, Jake. Dickinson. Jake Dickinson. Who will bat? Dickinson has 17 at bats this year, two hits. First pitch, and that's taken, a strike, goal, nothing in one. But Rovins tonight has scuffled. He's gone 0 for 3 with a pair of Ks. Nini's 0-1. And that one is high in the air in the left field. Coasting over his Ortique, he gets there to the line, makes the catch, out number three, and we're going extras. Brother Martin strands the winning run at second. We head to the top of the eighth, and it is 
tied at two. You are tuned in to High School Baseball on SportsNola.com. Back here at Kirsch Rooney Stadium, Rex Sherman Field at Kirsch Rooney Stadium into the eighth. And the Eagles will bat with the heart of the order. Renee Brubacher will lead it off here. First pitch is taken. It's ball one to Brubacher, who is one for three with a stolen base, single, has struck out and grounded into a fielder's choice. The 1 0 skips in for ball two. The 2-0. -oh. And Brubaca grounds one left side. A diving try at it, but no throw by the third baseman, Bonifons. He stopped it. But could not get up to make a throw. An infield single for Brubacher. That'll bring up Wayne Template. Catcher Wayne Template. Template has hit the ball well all night. His one out was a well struck line out in the center. He has two hits on the evening. First pitch, he fouls off. So far, Lance Malter out of the pen has been efficient. An inning-ending double play, certainly not hurting matters at all. 12 pitches to get five outs. Throw back to first, and oh, Brubacher somehow got in. Oh, they had him leaning. Wow. Crusaders do have a pickoff on the mound earlier tonight coming from starter Brandon Manura. And it was the man at the plate who they picked off in Template. Oh, one ground ball right side. That's through for a hit. Brubacher to second. Wayne Template takes it the other way through the hole on the right side. First and second now for the Eagles. And the pitcher, Corey Nini, will almost certainly be asked to try to lay one down. Running at first base, number 17, Dustin Perkle. And Dustin Perkle, as he did back in the sixth, will run for Template. Nenian is at bats tonight. 0 for 3, a pair of strikeouts. One swinging, one looking. He has grounded out 3 unassisted. When trying to lay a bunt down, but that was when Trey Morgan crashed down. Hard made the tag on Nini. And Perkle was unable to advance. And now Nini swings away and he fouls one off.
the 0-1 pitch. And Nini takes the ball in the dirt. Evens the count. Once we get to the bottom of the eighth, you got the part of the lineup you want, the harder the order. Bonifons, Morgan, Repath. 1-1. One, one. And Nini takes a strike. One and two now. Pitch on the way. Nene grounds one left side. It's going to be taken. The second for one. Turn throw to first. Not in time. And they were safe. Safe at second. They said that the second baseman was off the bag. He did leap up off the bag to make the catch, but they said he did not come back down on the bag. Corey Nene will reach. And there will be discussion. But a quick one. So that's going to be a fielder's choice and an E5. The throw took the second baseman repath off of the bag. And he did not come down on it. That'll bring up Jordan LaCava. First pitch is taken for a ball, 1-0. Designated hitter, Jordan LaCava. one -oh. And that missed. Two balls, no strikes. There will be a mound visit. a very tough spot here for Brother Martin. Go ahead run at third. Still nobody out. And you have LaCava who tied the game back in the sixth with an RBI double. Two zero, And there's a strike. One ground ball left side that's going to be scooped up. They'll go home for the force there, and they get it. One down. Perkle is forced out, or excuse me, Brubacher is forced out at home. A 5 2 fielder's choice. Third baseman, Brendan Smith. Crusaders in need of a ground ball. Brendan Smith has put it on the ground all three times. 0 for 3 tonight. Two ground outs to second. He grounded into an inning inning fielder's choice. Ground ball foul here. 0 and 1. One pitch, and a chopper right side, and that's going to be off the second baseman's glove. They'll get it, the throw to first, but a run scores. Perkle comes in, and the Eagles now lead three to two. An RBI ground out by Brendan Smith. Colby Sculthorpe, now the batter. So Shaw delivers the first blow in extra innings. Back-to-back -back base hits followed by an error. 
to set the table. First pitch to Skullthorpe in the air, in towards right center, and it is going to be put away for the third out. And the side is retired. In the end, one run on but Shaw has one forged run. ahead. One run across on two hits. One error, two runners left. Bottom eight, Brother Martin, hoping to at least extend this game, now trailing 3-2 to two to Shaw. You're tuned in to High School Baseball on SportsNola.com. Back here at Rag Sherman Field at Kirsch Rooney Stadium. Brother Martin now in a position where they need at least a run to keep this game going. Mason Bonifons is going to lead it off. Meanwhile, Corey Nini is going to try to finish what he started here. As he's out there to pitch the eighth. First pitch to Bonifons is taken for ball one. Pitch counted now after that first pitch, 85 for Nini. One zero. That missed. So Bonifons in the driver's seat early. Bonifaz is one for three, a single struck out and lined out to right. The 2-0, there's a strike. Two one pitch. And that's taken for ball three, just below the knees, three and one. Three one pitch, ball four. A walk in five. And deja vu to how the seventh inning started for Brother Martin when Brennan Stuprich drew a leadoff walk. And we're going to have a courtesy runner. And we will have a mound visit. That is Joe Delaney, who will run. Trey Morgan's going to bat, but first we have a pitching change for Shaw. We'll take the break, introduce the new pitcher when we come back. In the eighth, the Eagles lead it 3-2. to two. You're tuning to High School Baseball on SportsNola.com.
back here at Rag Sherman Field at Kirsch Rooney Stadium. First of all, some house cleaning on the error. It was actually charged to the second baseman, Zach Repath, not the third baseman as was called. So the new pitcher for Shaw is number 19, Patrick Leonard. Trey Morgan, the batter. Leonard this year has a save. Seven and two-thirds innings. He's given up six hits and three runs, two earned, an ERA of 183. Two walks, ten strikeouts. And he will be tasked with trying to close it out. Corey Nini's line a partial right now. In line at the moment for the win, but he is responsible for the run on first. The runner on first as they throw back to Checkham. And as we mentioned before, the timeout. And before the pitching change, it is a courtesy runner, Joe Delaney, who's running for Mason Bonifons. As that one is going to be through in the left for a base hit. Morgan takes it the other way. Delaney to second. Still nobody out. And Zach Repath is up next. Repath has been empty in three trips to the plate. He did reach on an error in the first. Flied out to center in the fourth. A ground out to second in the sixth. Cornini has thrown 89 pitches tonight, 60 for strikes. Seven innings plus a batter. Three hits, two runs, one earned for now. Four walks, one intentional, five strikeouts. Leaves with one inherited runner by Patrick Leonard. And time called. And it looks like we will have another pitching change for Shaw. So Leonard faces one batter, that's it. And they'll bring in a right-hander. We'll introduce him on the other side of this break. Shaw trying to hold on, leading three to two. In the bottom of the eighth, you're tuning to High School Baseball on SportsNola.com. Back here 
at Greg Sherman Field at Kirsch Rooney Stadium. The new pitcher is Jacob Moritz. And Patrick Kinnair is going to come off the pine to pinch hit for Zach Repath. This year, Maurice has an ERA of 3-2-3 in 39 innings pitched. 24 runs allowed, 18 earned. 19 walks, 37 punch outs. First pitch, Kinnair squares. He lays down a bunt. That goes foul. So Leonard faces one batter. Gives up a hit. And that's all through one pitch. It was taken through the hole by Trey Morgan. The 0 1. And that came in on Kinnair, and it hit him. Granted first base and Coach Bollinger is coming out to argue this one. But it will be to no avail. Base is loaded. Now the umpires are going to actually convene about this, so hold the phone. Stick with it. Now batting designated hitter. That'll bring up three. Dominic Robert. Dominic Robert. So that'll bring the Eagles infield in. On the corners. With the bases loaded, and Robert, one for three with an RBI double back in the fourth inning. Tying run at third, winning run at second. First pitch, and Robert takes the ball. Missed high. Two balls, no strikes. And after Shaw managed to punch home a run in the top half, it's gone walk, base hit, and a hit batter to put the Eagles in a tough spot. Pitch. And there's a strike call, two and one. Pitch, and that's in the air, foul, out of play. Two balls, two strikes. Two coming. And a cold strike three. Robert rung up. Huge first out by Morris. Right fielder, number seven, At the plate. Brendan. Everybody remains stationed where they are. Delaney at third. Morgan still at second. Kinnair still at first. Brendan Brown 
the batter. 0 for 3 with a pair of flyouts. He reached on an error and has a stolen base. First pitch, and that's taken for a strike, nothing to one. At the very least, Brother Martin will take what Brown did last time, a fly ball that Ortique chased down right by the line be deep enough in this situation to score Delaney from third. The 0-1, and that's taken for a ball. One one pitch, and that's taken for ball two. Reese has put himself in the pressure cooker. Falling behind to Robert 2-0 before eventually bouncing back to strike him out. Now behind here 2-1 with no margin for error. Nowhere to put anybody. Behind in the count. The pitch. And that's foul. Tip. Strike two. Two, two. And that one is in the air, foul. That's gonna get well out of play. Another two, two. Missed high, full count. Pitch number seven of the at-bat. Here it comes. Swing and a miss. Back-to-back -back strikeouts. He gets Brown to chase one, tailing down does Maurice and the Eagles. One out of way. Cole Strombo will bat. He was pinch hit for last time by Brennan Stuprich. Stuprich did draw a walk. But with the game on the line, it's going to be up to Strombo. Oh for 1 tonight. He was intentionally walked back in the 4th. He flew out in the 2nd. First pitch, Strombo takes the ball. And once again, Maurice falling behind early in the count, but it hasn't phased him yet. one -oh. ball two. seen this song and dance the last two batters Strombo takes time steps out Duo coming, and that's taken for ball three. With the bases loaded, the Crusaders perhaps one pitch away from tying it. 
Maurice will have to get out of his biggest spot yet. Against the Crusaders' eight-hole hitter. 3-0. Called strike. Three one, and that's fought off foul. Fills up the count. That'll start the runners on contact. Well, that'll start the runners before contact. Three and two, two outs, bases loaded. Three two ball game in favor of Shaw here in the eighth. The 3-2, runners go, and that's foul. We'll do it again. Pitch a little bit up, but Strombo not taking any chances. Another 3-2 delivery, and it's ball four. The tying run has been walked in. Cole Strombo draws an RBI, bases loaded, walk, Delaney scores. And the Crusaders have leveled it back up. Morgan the third, Kinnair to second. The batter, Ben Wisniewski. Wisniewski was asked to lay down the bunt last time. He did it successfully. But not in that situation here. He's 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts. First pitch, and that's in the dirt. That goes away, and the runner could not come home. He lost his footing, did Morgan. Trey Morgan tried to break for home, but stumbled, fell, and had to go back. A break for the Eagles. A 1-0 count to Wisniewski. Pitch coming, and that's taken for ball two. Game number one of this series has had all the intensity that you could want. And some free baseball. 2-0, strike. called two one pitch and that's in the air foul that'll get out moves the count to two and two a big swing pitch in the at bat the difference between two and two and three and one Maurice forces a foul off. One strike away from extending the game further. Here comes the pitch. And a ground ball tapped toward third. It's a slow roller. Now the throw down the first, and Wisniewski is out. They just get the throw across the diamond from Smith, who charges, throws to Skullthorpe. 
and Archbishop Shaw, though they give up the lead, they manage to get it to a ninth inning. In the frame, one run across on one hit, no errors, three runners left. We've got more baseball for you folks. We're tied at three. You're tuned in to High School Baseball on SportsNola.com. Back here at Rag Sherman Field at Kirsch Rooney Stadium. To the ninth we go. Justin Ostricker will lead it off for Shaw. Tied at three apiece. Both teams loaded the bases with nobody out. Both teams can only manage one run. First pitch to Ostricker misses for ball one. pitch and Ostricker tries to bunt his way on but he fouls that one evens the count On one pitch coming. Missed down and away. Two balls and a strike from Malter. Lance Malter who came in with one out in the sixth. Now the 2-1. Swing and a miss. He evens the count to Ostricker. Who is one for one tonight. A base hit, a sack bunt. And he was hit by a pitch. 2-2. Two, two. And that's looked in a called strike three at the knees. Ostricker. It's rung up. Center fielder, Dylan Black. That'll bring up Dylan Black. First pitch to Black is taken for ball one. one -oh. And that's taken, a strike called. Evens the count to Black, who is one for four tonight with a base hit. One one, and it missed. The pitch, and that's pulled line foul the other way. Two and two.
pitch. And that one is hitting the left field, and that's going to drop fair. It's a hit. And rounding first, heading for second is Black, and he will slide in with a double. Dylan Black, second hit of the night, the 10th for the Eagles. Brings up Brandon Ortiz. First pitch, Ortiz looks in a ball high, 1-0. The Crusaders have turned two double plays tonight. They have both been off of Ortiz's bat. One in a third and one in a seventh. one -oh. and that's taken for a strike. Evens the count. One-one pitch, missed. Two balls and a strike here to Ortiz. Two-one from Malter. And that one is lined right to the shortstop. They cannot double off Black, though. He just gets back into the bag, standing. The second baseman, Repath, coming over. Right A line right drive right hit by Ortiz. The shortstop, Bergeron, snagged it. They tried to double off Black. But now, Rene Brubacher, the batter. The Eagles' leading hitter this year. He's got two hits tonight. Open to deliver here in the clutch. First pitch missed down for ball one. The 1 0. Missed up and in. Two balls, no strikes. Of course, Brubacher has been the Eagles' leading hitter this season, but Wayne Template behind him has had the, hot, the hottest bat tonight for Shaw. Three for four on the night. A 2-0, and that's dropped in for a strike. Make it two and one now. Pitch coming. In the dirt, that goes away and the runner's going to advance. That was in the dirt and the catcher, Wisniewski, could not block it. Black to third. And a 3-1 count here to Brubacher. Pitch coming. And Brubacher pops it up. Over towards first base in the foul territory. Morgan trying to locate it as he falls to the seat of his pants. But he makes the catch for the out. And the side is retired. Trey Morgan was twisted and turned all around, but he manages to make the play in foul territory to end the inning and strand what would have been the go-ahead run at third. No runs, a hit, no errors, one left. Bottom nine coming up. We're tied at three. You're tuned into high school baseball on sportsnola.com.
here in the bottom of the ninth. Kirsch Rooney Stadium, top of the order, due up for Brother Martin. It's Bergeron to lead it off for the Crusaders against Jacob Maurice. Came in in a situation with runners on first and second. He hit a batter. Struck out the next two, but a lot of bases loaded. Walk to Cole Strombo. That tied up the game. So Bergeron stands in the bat. First pitch, and it's taken a strike call. Nothing in one. 26 pitches thrown by Maurice to get out of that eighth inning. But not before, obviously, the Crusaders squaring it up. The 0-1, and that bounced in. Ball on the strike. Of course, there was a bit of a stroke of luck for the Eagles when on what would have been a wild pitch on a ball that kicked away towards the first base side, Trey Morgan stumbled as trying to bunt his Bergeron, but he cannot make contact, and it's one and two. Morgan stumbled when he tried to break for home and he had to hold back at third. Would have been the winning run but he wound up being stranded there. The one two and that's taken a call strike three Bergeron rung up on the inner half. That's three punch outs for Maurice. Left fielder. That'll bring up Andre Robins. Jake Dickinson hit in his place last time and flied out. Robins tonight is 0 for 3. First pitch. And that's taken a strike called. Nothing in one. A one pitch. And now in a ground ball fisted right side of the mound, but it's a foul ball is deflected off of Rovens. Nothing in two. No two pitch. Missed. One ball, two strikes. Time called. One, two, coming. And a taken. For a called strike three, I think the home plate umpire lost track of the count. He didn't ring him up. Third baseman, number two down, two. and that'll bring up Mason, Mason Bonifaz. When you get into games like this, you're bound to see a little bit of everything at this point. Bonifaz, the battery is one for three. Walked his last time up. First pitch. And that one is hit towards left field. Ortiz charging on this one. He makes the running catch. For out number three in the side. He is retired. A three up, three down inning that took nine pitches. No, no runs, no hits, no, no errors. Runs, Nobody no left. Hits. We had it at the 10. Runs. Still tied at three. No You're tuned in to High School Baseball on SportsNola.com.
back here at Rex Sherman Field at Curse Rooney Stadium. Tie game in the 10th. Shaw. Leading off to Shaw, catcher. Will send up their four, five, and six hitters. Wayne Template is going to lead it off. First pitch. Template takes a strike call. Nothing in one. The Eagles got a one-out double the last inning. Black got to third on a wild pitch. But was stranded there. 0-1, oh, and that one is fouled. Nothing in two. To Template, who's had a strong night tonight. Three hits and four at-bats. Meanwhile, the pitcher spot is up next, and Jacob Morris is on the on is in the on deck circle. The 0-2. And a called strike three. <laughs> Template rung up. So Jacob Maurice will now bat. Number 18, Jacob Maurice. And the first pitch is taken for ball one. Maurice has one at bat this year. The 1 0. That's taken for a strike. one pitch swing and a miss and there's no reason for Malta to fool around it's going right after Maurice one two coming and a ground ball towards second picked up and the short throw to first will get the out two down and that'll bring up Jordan LaCava. His one hit was a massive one back in the sixth inning. It tied the game at two in an RBI double. He has reached on an error, lined out, and grounded into a fielder's choice. First pitch. LaCava takes a ball high. One zero coming. There's a strike. One one in the dirt. Two one, and that one is in the air. Foul, out of play. Two balls, two strikes. Two two, swing and a miss. Lacava goes down on strikes. Lance Balter delivers a one two three inning. In the frame, no runs, no hits, no errors, nobody left. Bottom of the 10th coming up. And the Crusaders and Eagles tied at three. You're tuning to High School Baseball on SportsNola.com.
in the bottom of the 10. Crusaders again, hoping to try to walk it off in some form or fashion. But Jacob Morris, after entering in a tough spot, making a tough run himself, allowing the tying run on a two out bases loaded walk and throwing 26 pitches. He blew through the top of the order for the Crusaders in the ninth. Now, he'll face Trey Morgan to start the 10th. First pitch. Morgan swings and misses. Nothing in one. Morgan tonight. One for three. A base hit. A walk. A stolen base and a run scored. That's fouled. Maurice jumps ahead. 0-2 on the cleanup hitter. Zach Repath on deck. The 0-2. And that one is in the left center field, and that's going to get down for a hit into the gap. Morgan around first. He's going to head the second, and he'll get in standing with a double. Trey Morgan with a thunderous start to the home half of the 10th. Shoots one into the left center field gap for extra bases. Second baseman, number two. And Zach Repath, the batter. Repath 0 for 3 tonight. Has reached on an error, flied out and grounded out. He was pinch hit for by Patrick Kinnear last time up, and Kinnear got hit by a pitch when he tried the bunt. Just to quickly tell you the finals from the rest of Division I, as we have time called. Evangel beat Bird 10 to seven. The first game of that series. Jesuit, a 5-3 win over St. Aug. You heard here earlier, Archbishop Rummel wanted a run rule, 19 to two over McKinley. St. Paul's beat Scotlandville, three to one. Now time asked for and granted. Time called by Repath. Now the first pitch. Repath takes a strike. The 0 1. And that's taken. Another called strike. 0 and 2. Path twinged a little bit. I think he felt that might have been high. Maurice ready. The 0 2. And that's ball one. This is where if you repath, you try to shorten up, just kind of slap one on the right side. If nothing else, try to get Morgan over. The one, two. And that's taken for ball two. Ooh, that crossed up. The catcher template, and I think that may have benefited the call there. Two and two, your count. So both sides have had what looked like legitimate gripes in this plate appearance. Two, two. Ball three.
3-2 on the way. Swing and a miss. Repath goes down on strikes. So a back and forth plate appearance. Warries wins the battle there. Dominic Robert, the batter. Robert tonight, one for four. An RBI double back in the fourth. First pitch. And Robert grounds one hot, and that's picked up at short. Set throw down to first, and Robert's gone. Runner advances. And now it's up to Brendan Brown. They'll try to send the Crusaders home a winner with the winning run at third and two outs here in the 10th. In a tie game at three, first pitch. And a strike. And the third that goes away. Morgan is trying to charge for home. He scores. And that's your game. No stumbles this time. Trey Morgan was ready for it. Ball gets by. And Brother Martin walks off on a wild pitch. Holy mackerel. Final score. Crusaders win it 4-3. to three. And an absolute pulsating. First game of this series, Trey Morgan scores on a wild pitch. And we'll be back tomorrow for at least one more game of this series between these two sides. What a great pitching out uh, performance by Corey Nini. The Eagles continue to stay in it, scattered some hits around, didn't get the clutch hit early, but found ways to score in the back half of the game. Took the lead in the eighth, but Brother Martin was able to tie it back and extend the game, and the Crusaders walk it off. A leadoff double by Trey Morgan was advanced to third on a ground out, and a wild pitch scores the winner as he scored two runs tonight. The win is going to go to Lance Malter. The loss will be taken by Jacob Maurice. And we'll wrap it up here as we'll give you a quick scoring summary of this ball game and how we got to this point. Brother Martin started out by scoring in the first inning. Joel Bergeron singled, then a hit and run was executed. Mason Bonifons moved Bergeron from first to third, and then a two out error off the bat of Zach Repass scored a run, made it one nothing. The Crusaders added a run in the fourth inning, a leadoff walk by Morgan, and then an RBI double by Dominic Robert scored him to make it two nothing. Brother Martin. Shaw got on the board in the fifth inning on an RBI two-out base hit by Brandon Ortiz, and they tied the game in the sixth. A leadoff double by Wayne Template, and then an RBI double by Jordan LaCava. Two batters later squared up the game at two, and that chased the starter, Brandon Benura, from the game. Lance Malter came in, and he got the next two out in just two pitches. The game extended into extras in the eighth. Shaw loaded up the bases with nobody out, but could only get one run across. That was an RBI ground out off the bat of Brendan Smith. But the Crusaders did the same thing, loading the bases with nobody out. But they can only get one run. It was a two-out bases loaded walk drawn by Cole Strombo in seven pitches. It got to the 10th. And you just heard Trey Morgan leading off with a double. Got to third on a ground out off the bat of Robert. And then a wild pitch with Brendan Brown batting. Scored the game winner. And Brother Martin takes the first game of this series in dramatic fashion. Four to three in ten innings. The Crusaders, four runs on just five hits, two errors. The Eagles, three runs on ten hits and two errors on the evening. And once again, your decisions. Lance Malter gets the win, and the loss goes to Jacob Maurice. The second game of this series will be tomorrow right back here at Kirsch Rooney Stadium. Three o'clock first pitch here on SportsNola.com. We hope you join us then. Good night, folks, and thank you for tuning in. Once again, your final. Brother Martin wins it 
for Archbishop Shaw, 4-3 to three in the first of a three-game series. We'll talk to you again right here at Kirsch Rooney Stadium tomorrow at 3. So long, everyone.